PPI and Fed BS, what a crock. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Thursday, May the 11th. And, uh, of course, we had the PPI number this morning. More bullshit from our government. And, of course, uh, Fed Waller's out speaking. Uh, another moron uh, who don't know shit. So, uh, again, just more nonsense for the market to try to interpret as we continue just to kind of vacillate in between ranges here. As we look at the market right now, the... Uh, Indexes are, are lower with the exception of the NASDAQ, the Dow, the S&P, and the Russell are all getting slaughtered. Uh, well, that slaughter is a bad word, but they're getting beat down pretty good. Uh, and uh, NASDAQ is actually just slightly lower, but it was just higher a second ago. Uh, we are along the NASDAQ short the other three. Uh, crude is under some heavy pressure today. Uh, maybe the genius will fill up the SPR, which they've drained to record lows, but Highly unlikely because, of course, that would help Americans instead of torturing them. Uh, but crude is lower, we're short. Uh, gold and silver are both getting hammered today, which I don't know, I didn't understand that. But hey, we're long both, uh, unfortunately. Uh, bonds are higher, we're short. Notes are higher, we're long. Uh, and uh, the euro currency is getting hammered today. Uh, I guess it's more Fed fiddling around, right? More central bank screwing the fraudulent currency system that we are under. Uh, and of course, the dollar is higher, which would make sense. We are we, we would still be short the dollar, although we don't trade it. Bitcoin is lower, we're short. Copper is lower, we're short. Copper is really getting hammered out 14 cents. My goodness gracious, nice trade. Uh, and uh, natural gas is slightly higher, but was lower, and I, I, I would expect to see around two bucks again. Uh, in the uh, in the grain markets, all lower down across the board. We're long wheat short the other two. Uh, everything's waiting for Wazi tomorrow. Uh, again, I don't know how much lower they can go. As I've told you, we are short, but I have bought some in, in another account just to, I do believe that they're going to make a big move higher. And somebody said to me, well, maybe I should read the chart. Well, I don't. I understand that certain prices are, are low prices, cure low prices, just like we bought hogs, although we should be short them, and they're higher. Okay, again, there, there, there are certain things you learn in this business after 45 years. In the meantime, uh, the cattle market is a little bit uh, lower. We would be long. We don't trade anymore. And hogs are higher, as I said. Uh, and, of course, in the softs, uh, cocoa is lower. We're short. Cotton is lower. We're short. Sugar is lower. We're short. OJ is higher. We're short. Coffee is lower, and we're short. Look, again, it's it's a dead, hard to trade, hard to be involved in the market. It's, it's a very challenging time. Just be careful. In the meantime, we get a couple of games tonight. We do like the 76ers to beat the Celtics. Uh for a, for a small play. Uh, in the meantime, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Day update. And don't forget about our sponsors, Trade Your Brokerage, Capital Trade Group on the side, and our high school program on the bottom. Adios.